she's waiting. I picked up the camera. I'm going to do a zip around my deck garden. Don't complain that nothing's been done. <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Robbie and of course Kitty from Southern California and I know I haven't done an update yet on my deck garden. We got a little slowed down with different things. I was so excited to go and then you know Gary and I caught COVID. We're, we're getting over it. It's pretty much gone. It's been what four weeks I think already. Um, left with a little cough, dry throat. Some of you have said, oh your voice sounds terrible. Well you know what that should be the worst but it's coming, it's coming. So I'm just going to take you around real quick and tell you what's going on. This, oh, this is a different project. We're going to have to get into that. This is going to be a two system. We'll get into that very, very soon. Here I'm getting ready to start doing my seeds. Now I get the cheapest potting soil I can buy. I strain it with just a quarter inch wire strainer. And then I've got wonderful potting soil. And I've been growing all my own seeds here, seeds. I've got squash growing and more things that I'm actually getting some zucchini out today on my wall garden I redid. And that's where a lot of my time has been going. And that was a lot of heavy lifting. And yes, I did it all by myself, but it is done. So what is going on here now? I'm probably going to tear this tote apart. And I'm going to put a two system in here. Not as big as I had last year. I had a big bucket in there. I don't want to do a big bucket. I'll probably go with the two system like this. And then I can put my kitchen scraps, go look at the video, into the, t into the bucket. And then on the top I can have something growing light that I can take out. Maybe I'll move my parsley. Because this I want to gut. Take everything out of here. Here I'm not sure yet. I know. I, because now I've got all these tomatoes growing on here. So we'll see on this one. I'm going to probably plant these in flower pots everywhere. This is the walking onions. Normally they would be dead. They would have dried up in the garden, but I collected them. And what I do is I have them in a container. I think I did a video on that. I soak them and then drain them. And it's been keeping them alive. Now I've got all these I got to plant. This I can move. See, it's in its own flower pot. So I can move this. This was the bok choy. I had some beans going. That's all going out. And like I said, I'm going to move the parsley. I want the parsley and there's parsley in there. Going to gut that one. I've got onions growing in here. And then that one's staying just the way it is. I've got some flowers here that we picked up at Home Depot and Lowe's. And I'm going to be planting those out. But for now, they're quite happy just sitting in a tote. Remember, everything goes up and down. So if there's microbes or earthworms, it goes into their pots. So I've got another one here that's just sitting, say. So some will be planted here. Some will be planted in my bird garden because you can see the flowers all over. Some will be planted in Gary's garden. Then this is the two, the two system. Th well, it's not two system. It's two buckets put together. I did do the video on that. What I haven't done yet is the three. I love the three. I haven't gotten that together. So I am going to do that. She is watching. More flowers. Now this is just sitting in here. That's why I love these buckets that I made. Look at that. And not only that, I've actually thrown leaves in there. Oh, you've got to see this. Look at this. I threw leaves and twigs in there. I'm hoping you can see this. It's broken down. It's been, oh, look at the bee. He says, let me do my thing. Go away. Look at all this. Oh, I think a walking onion got in there. Let me see what got in there. Something's green. I don't know. It might be just weeds. I don't know what's in there. That's a good question. Now you got me curious. No. Oh, yes. It is a piece of walking onion. See that? I think it is. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I've got so many. So what I did was I was cleaning and I would throw the leaves in here and then for now just sit a pot there and this is how you create your own soil. I wasn't even trying so I've created a few inches of soil in there. Didn't I kitty? I'll show you a surprise in a second. This is just another flower. We've had hail. We had last night, look at that, we're 60 right now. Last night 35 degrees. The hail damage is all over the plants. In fact, there's a few of them that don't look like they're going to come back really good. This is all hail damage. Gary's flowers that he wanted, those look like they've got hail and cold damage. I've got lettuce, the other beans. The beans kind of get hit the hardest, actually. These are the beans. So all this is going to be redone. What else is there? I've got some more lettuce. Lettuce has been wonderful and cabbage. The cabbage never got a big head. But you know what? I've been using the outside leaves, so that's been really good. The hummingbirds take a bath no matter what temperature it is. It could be 40 degrees outside and they come and take a bath. Speaking of hummingbirds, remember I told you I didn't know if I had a nest? 
we've got a nest and there she is. I don't want to bother her too much. I don't know who she is. She doesn't really know, I think, who I am. See, I'll get you a close-up shot in a minute. I didn't even know she was there. I was working on my computer, which is on the other side of this wall. If you ever see this weird thing here and you go, well, why is this board there? This is the south-facing wall. My computer is right on the other side. Yes, the screen door needs to be replaced, but what are you going to do when the dogs keep tearing it through? So what it is, it's a foam board. It's a special foam, foam board, and it's silver on the outside, and it's got that writing. It's, it's an insulation. So when the sun beats through really hard, it's not going to beat on my computer. So that's why I've got a foam board in front of this wonderful glass door that would have given me a beautiful view. So as I was saying, I was sitting by the computer, and I saw this hummingbird constantly picking off all the fuzz. Like they picked everything off back and forth and back and forth and I thought what's going on and I stepped out and that's when I found the nest because she was building the nest with all the fuzz from the seed heads that were coming off of this isn't that cool everything on the bottom here is still growing but I'm going to redo a lot this is coming out right away I already decided today I'm going to pull this pot out I know that there's like all kinds of little insects and stuff in there going to put lettuce in here for now and the sun is going to change. It will be going over the house. So then I can plant lettuce for in there for now until it gets really, really hot. What else is going on? This is the three system. I promise I will get to a little pepper plant and lettuce growing. And then I've got a purple tree colored cutting that's doing wonderful. And the bush tits came in and they did exactly what they're supposed to do. They came in and they were looking for insects. They came over here and they were looking for insects here. I love the little bush tits. They're probably nesting already and they were just all over. Now this will be pulled out. See the all over the ground? That's that fuzzy stuff that the hummingbirds collect for their nest. And the bush tits come in. They pick off the insects. They don't really eat a lot of seeds. But the goldfinches come in and they just hang here. It's so cute. And they've been taking the seeds off. They eat the seeds and then of course the yellow flowers Nobody eats that, but the hummingbirds do go to that as well as different bees, pollinators and stuff. Nothing new here. Again, these are flowers I've got to move. There's some garlic chives back there. There's my moringa. Made it all through the winter. Isn't that cool? In a pot, small pot back there. Just throw leaves on top and let it keep composting in. And then I've got some Malabar spinach. This is glass, so it doesn't get wind blowing on it. And that's why I've got tomatoes growing there. I've got dill growing there because it doesn't get wind. It's, it's a protection, almost like a greenhouse, even though there's no roof. So that worked out really well. Got some more mint back there. And then I've got, of course, more Malabar spinach here. See the hail damage? I don't know if you can see the spots. That's, here I can pull it off. I don't want her to eat it, even though it's probably fine. See all the spots? We've got that all over the gardens. That's hail damage, where all that hail hit. There was just so much hail. So I'm going to pull this off and hang it somewhere so they can continue to pull off what they need, be it seed or nesting material. And then here I'll go through one by one when I'm ready. This I'm going to leave but pull more out. I've already planted some of this in my chair garden. There's nothing growing on the bottom here. Maybe some pieces of oregano, but the oregano is just overpacked, see? So I've got to separate that so I get more oregano. And then here... This little, well, this is in the pot. So this is walking onion. Let me get you over here for a minute. I know I've talked about this. This is how I'm going to plant some of my squash now. This has really gotten big. And there's sow thistle. This is sow thistle. You can eat this. This is what the hummingbirds are building their nests out of. This is what the goldfinches are feeding on the seeds. And the bush tits come in. See, here's the flower starting. And once that turns into fuzz, then the goldfinches will eat the seeds, but the hummingbirds will feed on the flowers as well as long as, as well as bees. So because this was covered so well and protected all winter, I've got all this still growing all winter. So it's done really good. Purslane is still growing in there. Gary's gonna take this. He hasn't done it yet. I should just break it off, drop it in the bucket. This is popolo, and these are the seeds. Now here's the thing, you would think a million seeds, wow, you'd probably have it all over like a weed. No, because when it falls, if it's not protected, see it's all over the place, it has to be inside something. If you don't protect it with a ring, some sort of ring or something around it, then insects eat it. They love the, the new shoots. 
the seedlings get all eaten up. Once in a while you have one that makes it and that's basically it. So that's why you have to protect a lot of your seeds. Cooper hawks are now nesting. They're building their nest and they're going back and forth all the time. This is my stevia. It's gone the seed and I had stevia growing all winter because of this. Just by shielding it from the wind that worked really good and the sun. Once the sun lifts up into the sky, then I'm going to take this off and let it do its thing. And that is basically it. But I promise I'll get to the three system because I need to build a whole bunch for myself. I only built this one and there might be another one sitting around. But this system can go in the house. You can grow your house plants in this. You, you of course, can design it whatever way you want. And I will get into that. But this has just been wonderful because guess what? No water runs out of that. That's why, unless you want it to. So that's basically it. I just wanted to do an update to tell you what's going on, to show you that I've got stuff going on, and we did get slowed down. It didn't stop me. What it was is I figured with all the weather changes <clears throat> and then me coughing all the time, um, I'd slow down on here, continue to harvest from here, harvest walking onions. I harvest broccoli. There was a ton of broccoli before. I got onions now going to seed. You can see the flower heads up here. And I've continued, see this is a flower head. This is gonna be an onion flower. It's gonna be an onion flower. I've got beautiful tricolored sage. Look how beautiful this did all winter. This is, these are little lettuce that fall in there and they throw, you know, they're throwing seeds right now. But I've harvested plenty, garlic, chives, I've still got garlic growing over there. I didn't harvest that many beans, a few here and there when I made something stir fry in the oven. I grabbed a few, but a lot of them now are ready to start collecting the seeds. You can see I've got green beans here. These are green beans. Look at all the damage from the hail. It was really bad. Even this poor green sorrel really damaged really bad. So all in all, this has been good. Even though it looks terrible, yes, you don't have to leave the comments. Oh, look how bad it looks. Still got plenty of food. Still got to come out here and make my mint tea and collect green onions and lettuce and beans and mint and oregano. I even have peppers still growing over here. Let's walk over here for a minute. This is again South Thistle. Look at this. It's still growing. And this I don't need. See, this is just, I can't get it out. This is a weed. Now, I would not toss this out. What I would do is leave it. There's going to be earthworms, little baby earthworms and things in there. So I might just leave it, let it dry out, and then move it later into another tub. Now, if I was setting up a new tub, I would take that whole thing and throw it in there. This I have to clean up. It's just got some lettuce and purslane. But look at that. I've been picking peppers and they just keep growing. I don't know if there's any green ones on there yet. Poor pepper plant really needs a good trimming, but I'm going to get a lot more peppers growing. So that's it. I got to get to work and get a lot of seeds that we got. We got a lot of flower seeds. Want to get that all done, and then I'm going to set this up somewhere. Remember, I use the tool a lot of times, so there is no holes. This has holes. This does not have holes because I do not put holes on the ones that's going in the house. I'm going to get my tool out there. See when it has tool? Now, you've seen how I do it. I don't usually do this one-handed because these are my beautiful zinnias. Hold on, let me lift it. Oh, okay. okay. Now, what? It, it looks silly, but you know what? You take this outside and you sit it down, they'll fall apart. Don't worry about the few little roots. Seedlings are just, boy, they're raring to go. And then you separate it and then you plant them. And if you don't plant them all, then you put what you don't plant back in there and you can plant it in the following week. It's been fantastic. That's why I've been growing zinnias and everything. And now I've got more zinnias growing and we just bought carnations and other flowers to put out. This is different. This is gonna be a complete different system and I'll get to that soon. Um, I just came up with an idea to use strawberry plants on that. So that's basically it. I just wanted to touch base with you and let you know I haven't forgot about you. It's just we got kind of slow and decided to go in a different direction since the weather kept changing and just wanted to get other things done, but I am definitely going to redo the entire deck because the deck is someplace that I can just step out and grab everything I want. And like I said, we do have our broccoli. It's kind of got, you know, I didn't get a video. I'm gonna have to double check when I sit at the computer, if I hear the birds, I grab my camera. 
I kept wondering, why are all the broccoli so skinny? See how skinny they are? They were doing really good and they were big heads. And then all of a sudden they went all skinny on me. Like this. I can't even I can't get it off. Oh, okay. How about here? And I thought, why are they so skimpy? I found out why. The goldfinches found it, and now they're eating off. As soon as it starts to grow, they eat it all off, and they leave these skimpy heads. I'm not sure what all that is about. Kitty, you now have competition with the goldfinches. So they've been eating off as soon as it starts to do something. Oh, like, see all here? See all this? I hope you can see that. They'll come through, and they'll eat all this off. All that off, and then they leave me a little bit on top. See, that's got a little bit of aphids there. The bush tits come in, and they eat that. So they've been eating my broccoli, which means they haven't found the food that they needed. So they found something else they could eat. You have competition with goldfinches eating your food. So for that, for now, I will give you this. I'm going to wish everybody a wonderful day. I'm going to get back to work. I'm pretty much done with my wall garden. Gonna get a zucchini planted today, and then I'll be tackling this really, really soon. Right now I'm getting seeds. Gee, my voice isn't gone right now. Got up this morning and I had no voice. I thought, no, I can't lose my voice. Anyways, it's back right now, but I'm gonna go get some work done. So with that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you've got a deck, a small deck here. If you got a small deck, you can grow a lot of stuff, a whole lot of stuff, and hopefully, We'll get back and you'll see how you can do a two system on a deck. And not only that, you can reap the benefits because on that, you can catch the water, it will come through, and you go, well, wait a minute, you don't want to catch water. But if you put a pan with holes, then you can't catch the water. See? So you put a pan, some small holes, and it will drip down, and you don't have exposed water, but it will collect the water. And then if you've got a two system in there, you've got fertilizer coming out. So with that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye! Now, why doesn't she want to just put buckets around the wood and collect it? Because if you leave buckets stationary too long on wood, guess what happens? Wood is part of soil. It will start to break down. So that's why you want airspace when you have a pot or something you're going to move, which I do move those periodically to make sure that it doesn't break down the wood. Bye-bye.